Hi, boys and girls. This is letter book page 10, 11, and 12. It's just reading a story, and then when you finish the story, if you would like to have an activity to do with this story, get a blank sheet of paper and draw me a picture about the story and write some sentences what you liked about the story. You could write, draw the characters, you could draw the house that they make. So let's listen and then you can uh, create a picture and a sentence or two after we finish the story. This is called The Big Big Box. Let's fix up the box, said Doll. I will get up and bend the lid, said Ted. I will get scissors and cut the box, said Tig. Ed dabs red and black paint on the box. Doll helps Ed. It is a big job. Let's fill the box next, said Doll. Let's get the stuff. Ted and Doll get the wagon. It has a sink, a bed, a rug, and a lamp in it. Tig has a basket. It has pots, pans, cups, and napkins in it. Ed fills a plastic bag. It has six muffins, plum jam, and milk in it. Tig and Ed sip milk in the cups. Doll and Ted snack on muffins and plum jam. A big box is the best fun. So you can draw me a picture about the story and tell me a little bit about the story and have your mom take a picture and send it on Remind so I can see your creativity. This story is a lot like the books we read last week about the boxes, and I hope that you all got to uh, find a box and, and paint it or color on it or use markers and create something out of a box. You could make it a race car, a rocket, an airplane, a house, a bed, all sorts of different things. So... Think about that and, and being creative with a box. All right, let's go ahead and turn to page 13. You need your crayons for this activity. And we are going to read the word and then circle the word in this color that, that it's telling us what that is. So can anyone read that first word? It's two smaller words put together. You need your green crayon because that word is green. Sand box. Sand box. Does anybody see a sand box? They want us to circle the sand box in green. There it is. All right, the next color we need is yellow. And that, there's two words there, button box, button box. Does anybody see a button box? Right here, yes, there's a box full of buttons. Somebody has made a collection of buttons. That's fun. Maybe you could start a button collection or a, any kind of collection, seashells or... Um, Pretty things you find in the yard. All right, let's look. We need our red crayon. This is the word. Can you read it? Red box, exactly. And they want us to circle the red box with a red crayon. It's kind of pink. All right. We need our blue crayon, and we are going to find the hat 
box. Hat box. Where is the hat box? Way up here. Very good. A long time ago when ladies wore hats every day, they had special boxes to put their hats in so the hats didn't get crinkled or wrinkled or smushed. All right, this is a brown color. So find your brown. And this says, there's a blend, plant box. Plant box. Where is the plant box? Very good. Way up here. Circle that plant box. Winston, it kind of reminds me of your terrarium. All right, the next color we need is orange. And we are looking for a g -g gift box. Gift box. Does anybody see a gift box? Yes, it also can be called a present. Circle that in orange. And now we need a gray. If you don't have a gray, you could do um, maybe light black. Maybe it's purple. I don't know. I'm going to say it's gray. Oops, I didn't get the gray out. And we are looking for muffin box. Muffin box. Two syllables. Muffin. Muffin box. There's the muffin box. And now we have one box left. We need our black crayon, and let's make sure it matches. I'm not sure I have a black. I do not. All right, I will have to pretend with my Sharpie. Scrap. That's a blend with three letters. Scrap box. There's our scrap box. So you are going to circle that in black. All right. Did you notice every one of those words had box? It was the, These two are called compound words. Sandbox, hat box. And then all of the other ones had the word box in them also. Very nice job listening and matching your illustrations to your text. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.